Hey, what is going on guys? It is Hawksnest here back with another COD mobile video. Now in today's video, we're actually going to be looking at the brand new SMG and that is the Pharaoh submachine gun. Now this gun has got compared mostly to the Chicom and the MSMC and in today's video, we're going to be comparing it to basically all the SMGs, but the focus will be mainly on the Chicom or the Chicom or however you pronounce it and the MSMC as those two are the closest SMGs in terms of comparisons. Now the reason the Pharaoh is compared to the Chicom so often is because both guns are burst weapons. Now what this means is every time you press the fire button the gun will shoot out a couple rounds now the shycom will shoot out three rounds and the pharaoh will shoot out four now in this game there's a couple issues that bursts actually have and that includes you can't properly drop shot whenever you try to drop shot someone and you move your joystick it'll unscope you in so if you're ads it'll take you out of ads and because every time you press the fire button it shoots out three to four rounds depending on what gun we're talking about you're not able to sprint while your gun is shooting so basically what this means is when you're using a burst weapon your mobility is reduced and this is a common complaint with both the shycom and especially the pharaoh because it is a four round burst <clears throat> so the reduced mobility lasts a little longer now when I reference all the SMGs except the Pharaoh because that one is brand new. Most of the data I'm going to be using is from my past best SMG video. So if you guys want to watch that video after this one, feel free. But in terms of the Pharaoh statistics, a lot of them I found myself. And then a lot of them I actually got from a guy named Pathogenesis. He has a YouTube channel and he does basically very similar content to what I do. He actually does stuff that's even more in depth than I do oftentimes. And he actually has a series where he does gun guides on individual guns. And if you guys would like to support and watch that series it will be linked down below but without further ado let's go ahead and get right into this now once again I referenced that I have already done a video looking at the best SMG and in that video I talked about a lot of different stats relating to the SMGs and I don't want to repeat myself in this video so I won't be including any kind of information about SMGs that are the same across all SMGs so for example the headshot multiplier of all SMGs are 1.1 so I'm not going to be referencing that obviously other than as an example I will only reference statistics where the Pharaoh is different than other SMGs. So we'll go ahead and start with some very basic ones just so you guys get a feel for the basic uh, attributes of the weapon. And the first thing we'll be looking at is the ADS time of the Pharaoh versus other SMGs. Now, if you weren't aware, your gun actually scopes in faster with iron sights as opposed to if you have optics and optics are basically any sights you can put on the gun. So as you can tell, the gun that scopes in the fastest with iron sights is the MSMC and the slowest is the Pharaoh at 233 milliseconds. And as you can tell, when we look at optics, all the weapons are actually the exact same in terms of the ADS time, except for the AKS 74U, which is 233 milliseconds, as opposed to all the other SMGs at 267 milliseconds. So what you can tell from this is when you have a scope on your SMGs, all the weapons are basically the exact same in terms of how fast they ADS. And then on the far right, you can tell what the difference is when you actually add optics onto your weapon and basically what guns have the least effect. And as you can tell, the Pharaoh receives a 34 millisecond addition in your ADS time when you actually have an optic and then it scales down or scales up all the way up until the MSMC and the PDW which receive a hundred millisecond difference when you actually add a optic on your weapon. So basically what that stat means is the higher the number the worse it is to actually add a sight on your weapon. So with the MSMC that's one of the reasons people don't like a sight on it is because it adds a lot of time into how long it takes to actually ADS and then also the iron sights on the MSMC are very easy to use for close quarters combat but as you can tell with a weapon like the pharaoh it doesn't receive a big difference when you're actually using optics in terms of the ads time so using optics on this gun is going to be very useful and once again i want to give a big shout out to pathogenesis for actually getting these stats so once again make sure to check out his channel next up is a magazine comparison of all the different smgs so what you're going to see on the far left is the normal magazine size on all the different smgs and it scales all the way up from pdw at 57 or sorry 50 uh down to the pharaoh at a very very low 28 and then just to the right of that is the extended mag size and as you can tell every single smg receives a eight bullet addition so the pdw 58 all the way down to the pharaoh at 36 and then in green where it says normal that's going to be the uh reload speed and this is courtesy of pathogenesis once again and as you can tell the hd40 is the fastest scaling all the way down to the pdw 57 at 2.48 
And then you can see the fast mag reload speed and the MSMC is the fastest at 1.54 and then the PDW is the slowest at 1.78. So number one, I just wanna say that if you're using the Faro, a extended mag is 100% necessary on this weapon. It fires very fast and also because of the low mag size and it being a burst, you're gonna run through ammo crazy fast. So a extended mag is 100% necessary on this weapon. All right, so that is it for all of the basic stats. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that I consider recoil to be a very big factor in weapons and how they perform. And I have developed a method to actually record a recoil with all different weapons. And that applies obviously to the Pharaoh. So we're gonna go ahead and now look at the Pharaoh's recoil compared to the MSMC and the Shycom. I didn't actually add all the other SMGs and that is just because all the other SMGs would make it really hard to fit and I already did a video covering recoil and a video covering SMGs so there's no point in covering all of them right now and as you can tell the Pharaoh actually has higher recoil than the MSMC which is absolutely ridiculous because before the Pharaoh, the MSMC and the AK-47 had the most recoil in the game that are basically tied. And now with the Pharaoh coming along, it actually has more recoil than both of those weapons. So it now claims the title of having the highest recoil in the game, which is also especially crazy because it is a burst weapon and burst weapons typically don't have that much recoil. I also do want to note that this is 30 bullets. It's not 36 or 28. I made sure to actually stop the recoil tree right at 30 bullets because that is what I do with all guns to keep it consistent in their recoil tree. Now, obviously, because it's a burst gun, you have to actually look at the recoil of just one burst to get an idea of how one burst will actually feel. And that's what you're going to be seeing on your screen right now is the one burst uh, recoil of the Pharaoh and the Chicom compared. And as you can tell, the Pharaoh is definitely higher. It's not super high. I, it's not like crazy high by any means, uh, but it is definitely higher than the Chicom. And obviously the grip attachment is a attachment that actually reduces recoil. So obviously we should be looking at how it affects the uh, Pharaoh. And as you can tell, it doesn't have a large effect on the burst. Uh, it does obviously have an effect. It does lower the recoil a little bit, but it's not a massive effect. But when we do look at the 30 shot recoil tree of the no grip versus the grip, you can tell that it does have a pretty large effect on how high the recoil actually goes. Uh, in terms of the side to side recoil, it doesn't look like it affects it that much. So in conclusion on the recoil, I would say that it has a ridiculously high recoil. The burst isn't something that's super, super bad. It is, it is pretty bad though. It's nothing easy to control by any means. You're definitely gonna have to pull down. Uh, the horizontal recoil isn't terrible, which is really good actually. That means you can actually master this weapon and not have crazy bad luck on the side to side recoil. And also I would recommend a grip, even though it doesn't have a massive effect on the horizontal recoil and even the vertical recoil isn't affected too much, I would still recommend using it on this gun just to make it a little bit easier to control. And SMGs don't have that many attachment options, so a grip is just pretty standard to be honest. So now let's go ahead and look at the damage and fire rate and time to kill of this weapon. So for the damage of the Pharaoh, it does 34 damage from 0 to 12 meters, and then it does 22 damage from 12 to 19 meters, and then it does 18 damage damage over 19 meters. And if you don't understand what damage means, basically a player has 100 health. So any damage over 100 will be a kill. So for example, the weapon does 34 damage from zero to 12 meters. So if you do 34 plus 34 plus 34, that is gonna equal 103 damage which will be a kill. So essentially within 12 meters, the Pharaoh is a three shot kill. Now I'll break that down a lot more very soon. So you actually understand really how that compares to other SMGs. Uh, but now let's go ahead and look at the fire rate of the weapon. So typically I say the fire rate of the weapon in bullets per second, but because this is a burst weapon, the bullets per second changes whether or not it's bursting or not. Um, so I'll just tell you the rounds per minute. Rounds per minute of the Pharaoh is 764, which is comparable to the PDW at 750, or even the AKS at 776 rounds per minute. But now let's go ahead and look at the time to kill, which is going to be the best stat to actually understand how good this gun is, apart from the recoil. Okay, so what you're looking at right now might look intimidating, but don't worry, I'll break it down so it's very, very easy to understand. So basically what you're looking right now is the time to kill for the weapons at different ranges. So the first thing you wanna look at is on your left, it says zero and then 10 and then 20 and 30, and that's basically the range in meters. And when I say range in meters, I mean the distance between you and the target that you are shooting. And here is a visual representation of the different distances so you can actually see um, what I'm talking about. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and look at the Pharaoh really quickly. So basically what you're looking at right now is the three different ranges of the gun that I said before. So the first one is going to be zero to 12 when the gun does 34 damage. 
and then 12 to 19 with 22 damage and then anything above 19 meters is 18 damage so basically the numbers that you're looking at is the time to kill which is how long it'll actually take to kill someone assuming that you were scoped in on them and your game had absolutely no lag now obviously if your game is a little bit laggy it'll take longer but we're just pretending that your game has absolutely no lag and this is how long it would take just to make sure that everything is consistent so as you can tell the pharaoh would kill in 0.133 seconds all the way up to 12 meters which is equivalent to 133 milliseconds so we'll probably just say that to make it easier and then from 12 to 19 meters it's going to kill in 364 milliseconds and then anywhere above 19 meters it's going to kill in 430 milliseconds now hopefully you understand the time to kill and the ranges and all that and now we can actually go ahead and compare all of the smgs so the way that I do this is I actually break it down by range and we're going to look at what the best SMGs are for the different ranges. So the very first range is going to be anywhere from 0 to 12 meters. And from 0 to 12 meters, the SMG that kills the absolute fastest is going to be the Pharaoh. I also want to note that all of these time to kills are only with body shots. We are not including headshots in this because that would make it way too complicated. Although it doesn't matter that much because all of these guns have very low headshot multipliers, so it actually wouldn't affect the stats too much. But as you can tell, the Pharaoh is ridiculously fast at this range. If you compare it to the HD40 or the Shycom at 10 to 12 meters, you can tell that it is almost three times as fast as those weapons. So this is why a lot of people when using the Pharaoh feel like it's really good for a couple seconds because when they're really close and start killing people like instantly, they feel like it's a really good gun. But the thing that sucks about the Pharaoh is that it falls off in time to kill very, very, very fast. So the next range we're going to be looking at is 12 to 13 meters and as you can tell the fastest to kill SMG at this range is going to be the MSMC and the slowest is actually the Pharaoh so as I said it starts to drop off a lot. Next up is going to be from 13 to 21 meters and from 13 to 21 meters the fastest SMG to kill is the AKS 74U. Also, if there's two numbers, basically what that means is it can either kill in the lower time or the upper time, depending on the range. So for example, if you look at the HD40, it could kill in 330 milliseconds or it could kill in 440 milliseconds, depending on the range. But yeah, so from 13 to 21, the fastest is the AKS-74U, with the PDW being pretty close. Next up is 21 to 25 meters. The fastest SMG to kill at this range is the MSMC or the Shycom. The Shycom can actually kill at the same time as the MSMC for a couple meters, but for the most part from 21 to 25 meters, the MSMC is the fastest to kill. Next up is the 25 to 27 meter range, and at this range, the fastest to kill is the AKS-74U. And then the PDW is pretty close behind. And then the next range is 27 to 31 meters and the fastest to kill at this range is going to be the PDW. And anywhere above 31 meters, the fastest gun to kill is going to be the Pharaoh. So when I actually first used this gun, it was really weird because it would kill really fast. I'm like, wow, this gun is super good. And then a little bit at range, I felt like it was killing really slow. And then at like farther ranges, I felt like it was kind of killing fast. So it was really weird for me because I, I didn't know if the range was good or bad. And it was really hard to tell. So basically the best explanation of what the Pharaoh is, is it's a absolute shredder up close falls off really hard mid range and then kind of recovers. And it is actually semi decent long range. The best long range SMGs are still going to be the PDW and the AKS, but the Pharaoh can be used as long as you're able to hit your shots, it still can kill people very fast at uh, extremely long ranges, so long as you're hitting your shots, obviously. But with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy. I do want to give a massive shout out to our channel members and especially our elite fans and above, which includes MGC Gaming, CBK Esports, and Red Zero. So thank you to all our channel members for supporting. If you guys want to become a channel member, you can see how to on your screen right now. But again, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you later. Peace.